Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful tool which you can use to change the world. Therefore, the teachers of South Africa play a vital role in developing the youth of our country. Primary school lays the foundation for education by focusing on necessary basics. Michelle van Veek from Onza Risk Primary School recognized that technology education was critical for her young learners. Michelle, stepping into your classroom, you know, it really sends me back to when I was in primary school and such fond memories. You've decided to incorporate technology in your classes and your lessons. What made you decide this? Technology isn't something that our school uses every day, but it's really something that I felt strongly about um, because it's in our everyday lives. So I really want to, to use it in my everyday classroom and letting the children work on, on computers, for instance, because I really feel that that's how they are going to learn. So with the growth of technology, uh, it's really made the world seem a lot smaller. What resources do you use? Teaching should be not just me standing in front of the class and just let speak and they just have to listen. I think they, sh they should come with ideas. They should do interviews with people. For instance, we had a Skype session with a Sir Andrew from Nigeria and the children just loved speaking to someone in a different country but they are still here. And also, bring your phone to class. Now let's have a, a no speaking period where we're just doing discussions on a chat room that we have and letting them go home with that chat room and then the parents like to join in. So the learning is not just in class, but it also it goes on at home. By exposing the learners to the digital world, Michelle teaches the children how to conduct themselves online and how to be safe when using phones or laptops. I'm very proud to say that we are one of the top uh, academic schools in the Free State. At Wittenberg High School, Wilhelmina Fenter is a beloved member of staff and was honoured for excellence in secondary school teaching. We also believe in all the other pillars of uh, being a, school, a good school, that meaning we do well in sport, uh, on cultural activities, but also we invest in the learners and their lives, developing them holistically. So we also have that social leg that we protect at school. Wilhelmina goes above and beyond as a netball coach and was scored high by peers for her classroom skills and management. It was rare for me to be a great year um, to my colleagues. My nominated. Actually, I'm a very good man with a very good heart for the underwise and a very, very loving for kinder. Um, so I had a very great feeling in my school, my school Wittenberg, to be able to be a great And this is actually the most important thing that we can make a difference in our lives and in someone's heart a mark to let what they will always do. Lipile Mompati, headmaster of Albert Morocca Secondary School, has cultivated an environment of motivated learners and teachers. You've been in the education system for a very long time now. Tell us a bit about that journey. My journey has been very, very exciting. I've been teaching for the last 37 years, and being a headmaster is 24 years. Over the years, your school has been turning out very good results and a very good pass rate. What is the secret? Hard work, discipline, consistency, love for children, and commitment to one's work. As an educator, I know I've fulfilled my mission because I know I've changed the lives of these little ones that I love so much. It took 14 years for the school to attain a 100% pass rate and under Mr. Mompati's leadership, the school is producing quality students who are creating a legacy of success.